Okay, so in this video I will do a tutorial on how to send books from Caliber to BookFusion that you can use on your e-reader. BookFusion is an excellent app for Android-based e-readers and also for iOS, so you can use it on your iPhone or iPad and also on your Mac and Android phones and Android tablets, of course. But uh, if you are using a ink you can use it on Android based e readers. So, in this video, I will show you how you transfer EPUB books to BookFusion that get synced to your e readers. So, here on the table, I have a few e readers. Here we have a Big Me B751C that runs Android, and here we have my VWOOTS AI Paper Mini. As you see here, the VWOODS AI Paper Mini. And here we have the Unux Books Palma. Also that runs Android. So these three e-ink based e-readers are running Android. And this is a Color Kaleido 3 e-ink e-reader. And these are black and white. And here we have my brand new iPhone Air. That I also have installed BookFusion on. So, these devices can all use BookFusion if I want. So, how to transfer books to this, these different devices then? Well, we can start by starting BookFusion to see how it looks on these devices. Here we started on the Color e Ink e Reader, the Big Me B751C. So, here we see, for example, one book. Uh, we can Download that. And these are downloading from BookFusion server because if you add books to BookFusion, they are added to your account. So you can get to all the books from all your devices. And it syncs highlights, notes, bookmarks, whatever, reading position, everything to your account. So that is the beauty with BookFusion that you can use BookFusion on all your devices and at the same time you can have all your EPUB ebooks on BookFusion itself so you have the, the complete library in the cloud so you can use it in BookFusion on all your different devices. So here we have one book open in uh, BookFusion and here we have the BookFusion uh, start page, you have the library here with all your books and you can sync by doing so. Here we are syncing some books and we have all the books in the account down here. So that is how BookFusion works on Android based e-readers. Here we have BookFusion on this Vivo's AI Paper Mini. The same books are here. You can sync it manually if you prefer like so and then you can open the same book that you had on the big me and download that on this device and read it after you have downloaded it once you don't need to download it again everything syncs between all the devices after that so here we can read that on this e-reader works great and the same with the unix books palma we have a book fusion here. We start book fusion. If you prefer, you can do a manual sync. And after that, you can open a book and start reading from where you left off. Works great. So, and the same with uh, an iPhone or an iPad or an Android device, you can then open BookFusion here. And we can sync by doing so. And here we see everything in gorgeous color, of course. And here we can open the same book we open on all other devices, as you see. Works great. Everything in sync, even highlights, notes, bookmarks, everything. So, how do we then add books to BookFusion then? Well, then we need Caliber. So now we go into Caliber. We go to my desktop cam here. 
and then I start Calibre. Here we have some books I uh, can test with, a test uh, library, because Book Fusion, as you see here, I've installed as a plugin in Calibre, can sync your complete library or only the books you want to sync if you prefer that. So either the complete library or just the books you select. But let's start by going up to Calibre Preferences. And here we should go to plugins. Here we have plugins. Now I have already installed the plugin, but I will pretend that I don't have it yet. So I will go to get new plugins. Here we search for Book Fusion. Uh, all plugins and search for Book Fusion, sorry, because I already have that. Book Fusion, you see here. So just install this plugin by marking it and click install. I will not do that because I already have the plugin, but I don't think it will be hard to do. Just mark it there and click install and follow the instructions. And when you have done that, restart Calibre. And then you have restarted Calibre. You will have that plugin installed up here. If you don't have it up here, you can move it and drag it and, and so on by going to preferences and go to toolbars and menus, click to the main toolbar and here you can add the different options and drag them around to have them in the order you prefer. So now when you have the book, book Fusion plugin installed, you need to customize it do some settings. So go to plugins in, in, again. And here we search for the Book Fusion plugin again, because here are the plugins you have installed in Calibre. So here you have the plugin you have just installed. Click on that and click Customize Plugin. Here you see the important stuff you need to do. I will not do this. So do you need to do this yourself? Here you have a secret API key, but uh, you don't see the complete C uh, API key. But what you should do is click on this link. This link will open in a web browser. And in that web browser, you log in to your book, book fusion account. And then your API key will be visible, so you can copy it. If you don't see the API key, just click Generate API key, and then copy it, and then paste it here. That is how easy it is to have your API key. Click on that link, log into a BookFusion account, copy the API key, or generate the API key, API key and copy it. Have this on and have update metadata on because that will also sync all your tags from Calibre and every metadata you have in Calibre will be synced. Sync threads, you can have up to four. That means that it will sync four books at the same time. Here is a coming feature from Book Fusion. In, in the future, you will have to be able to choose which bookshell you will have these books synced to. But after you have done this and copied your API key here, then click OK. And after that, you click Apply. And after that, you are ready. After that, you are ready. So now you can sync all your books or just select one book or two books or whatever. So we can choose this and this, for example. Uh, these two books and then go up here. You see you can click here, but click on the little black arrow there Here you can see sync selected books or sync all books So if you want to sync your complete library to book fusion to have all your books available in book fusion then choose this Otherwise you choose this sync selected books and That is what I will show you here now it says what you can do here. 
organize your ebook library, sync reading progress, bookmarks, highlights, notes across all devices, read both offline and online, support popular ebook formats, web and native Android and iOS app, many more features. That is what Book Fusion is. Here you can choose sync all books, sync two selected books. Even here you can uh, configure and add your API key if you prefer, but you have already done that. So click start. Now it will sync the two books I have selected. Like so. Now it's ready. Now I have synced the complete library or just the two books I have selected. That is how easy it is. Now we go back to my table to see if those books are showing up in my Book Fusion account. So here we have my table again. And now if I click sync up here, these two books should show up somewhere. Like so. As you saw there, I decided to have date down here instead. And then these two books show up here. And the same with the Big Me B751C. Uh, if we choose date, these two books that I have selected are shown down here. As you see, they show up there. So if I, for example, want to read this, I click on that and then choose download. And here we have all the Metadata from uh, Caliber. Uh, you can see all the tags and so on up here. You see the text, what it's all about and so on. And the same with uh, Onyx Books Palm, of course. If we do uh, manual sync, you often don't need to do the manual sync because Book Fusion syncs everything in the background, so but I do this for these videos to be sure that you can uh, see everything as it is. Here you see the two books I have just added to my Book Fusion account, and the same thing on my brand new iPhone Air. We go into that and open Book Fusion and do a manual thing to be sure, and down here we have them. So if I now is happy, I can just start reading these books or otherwise I go into this book. I can long press on it and do a lot of stuff here. I can even send it to my Kindle if I prefer to read on my Kindle. Uh, I can write a review, open with, and I can also delete it because I don't want to have that book in my account. And the same thing with this book. So I delete it, uh, delete, delete. And now I sync it again. So now if we open one of the e ink e-readers like this and do the sync, the books are gone from this device too, as you see there. The same thing with the V Woods AI Paper Mini, the books are gone. And the same thing with the Big Me B751C, the books are now gone. So that is how easy it is to uh, sync your Caliber library to your Book Fusion account that you can then use on any e ink e reader that can be able to install Android apps and also on your iPhone, iPad, Android phone, tablet, Mac, and so on. So that is how easy it is to use Book Fusion Caliber plugin. And I really love Book Fusion. It's an excellent service and an excellent app to be able to sync all your books and highlights, notes, whatever. It's an excellent app for book lovers like me. So 
check that out and go install the plugin in Calibre and start using it. Of course, you don't need to use Calibre for, for your books for Book Fusion. You can add them manually, even from your phone. You can just upload them to Book Fusion from your phone or tablet or whatever, or your computer or whatever, if you prefer uploading apps, books manually to Book Fusion. Okay, bye. Thank you.